Here's a data science tutorial on how you might do model selection when you're working in the causal inference space. This is something that is so well documented in the machine learning world, but sometimes is really overlooked in the causal inference space. And it's something that can set you apart from junior to senior level or staff. So in this data, I had simulated market data for 40 regions of which five of them were treated. You can see with the red vertical line that shows the treatment date. I generated the data and I know the ground truth is that the treated regions had a 10% treatment effect in the, the, the post-treatment period. So with five treated regions and 35 untreated ones, uh, a couple of options are synthetic control and difference in differences. But there are others as well. Now, when I asked Claude Code to do this, so I asked my AI, said, give you free reign, and it right off the bat went with differences and differences. And when Claude did difference in differences, that it actually made a slight mistake, but uh, effectively the result was that there was a 24% increase in the treated regions due to the treatment. But again, we know the ground truth is 10%. And importantly, Claude Code did no model validation and they did no model selection processes. Now, as it turns out, <clears throat> if you had done AA testing, so you used only treatment pre-treatment data and you re-randomize which were going to be the, the treated regions each time, you would get this range of estimated effects between negative 14% and plus 10% with an RMSC of, a, of 150. Again, this is all AA testing, so we know the ground truth is zero effect. Now, what would this look like if we did synthetic control instead of difference in differences? <clears throat> So using the exact same pretreatment data, we get the, a much tighter distribution of effects using synthetic control from minus six to plus eight. And the treatment effect RMSC is dramatically smaller. Uh, sorry, I need to, yeah, I, I was using the wrong one there, but uh, here's the, 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 the same outcome here. So it goes from negative 6.6 .6 to 8.7. Again, that's a much tighter range for the synthetic control than the difference in differences. And here's the treatment effect RMSC of 98 instead of 150. Again, is much smaller, dropped by about a third. And sure enough, when we estimate the treatment effect during the treatment period using synthetic control, we get an estimated relative effect of 7%, which is much, much closer to the ground truth of 10%. So the AA testing showed us which model was a better fit. And then in the true treatment period, we end up with a result that is much closer to the ground truth treatment effect.